Hello my scrappy friends, it is Jess here from the Scrappy Sisters and thank you for joining me for a Kidaholics Kits design team layout. I had so much trouble with this kit this month because I loved the papers in this kit. I just wanted to use all of them, I wanted to use both of the sides and I found it really hard. Normally when I see a floral like this one, the first thing I want to do is fussy cut it and use it on every page. But it is so beautiful that I decided that I would embrace the beauty and use it as a background page. So I did trim a little bit off so that I could mat it onto a white 12 by 12. And then I did that thing, you know, we've seen heaps of layouts like this where you just kind of fold the corner back and it just gives you a little pop of the color from the back of the page. So it was like my way of getting a little bit of both of side A and side B onto one layout because I thought the, the plaid or the gingham or whatever you call it was super cute as well. Then on the sticker sheet, there was this really fun scalloped edge. Now I love these scalloped edges that they include on sticker sheets, but they annoy me because they are not full 12 inches wide and they always sit a little bit short if you want to use them the full length across a full 12 by 12 and so in which case I actually find them really hard to use but of course with this layout I had trimmed myself a little bit of a mat so I actually didn't need a full 12 by 12 so I was able to pop that down along the side and I actually had to cut off excess of it this time so that I thought was cool uh, then I have created a base for my two clusters and that is with that beautiful blue floral wreath. I've cut that in half and I've used one down the bottom and one on the side. And then my third cluster is not even really going to be a cluster. It's literally just going to be that. The little tab that came in our extra little packet of goodies and a word phrase. <clears throat> now... What these photos are is a curate little Thomas holding an amazingly painted rock. So you've probably heard of, or you might have heard of, people that paint rocks and they might be beautiful artists like the one I've got, or they could just be people that do it for joy. Um, they put a little protectant spray on them of some description and then they hide them. So often they hide them in public places where they're likely to be found. This particular rock was hidden in a really difficult place. Um, not in a park, off the beaten track. Yeah, not somewhere that was likely to be found, but Tom was running in and out of the trees and he happened to look down and find it. On the edge of it, it said um, the Facebook group to post a picture in, so we did. And the amazing person that painted it actually commented and said, oh my goodness, I hid that rock like a long time ago. So it had been hidden under a tree for months and months and months. I think she said almost a year and a half, which we thought was even extra special. So at the moment, we still have said rock. We are going to rehide it. You're allowed to keep them, but... For the joy of it, we are going to rehide them or rehide it. Um, we just haven't done it yet. It's winter, it's cold, it's rainy, um, waiting for the right place to be and the right spot to hide it. We could even take it with us on a holiday somewhere and hide it far away. Who even knows? Um, but I just thought that was cool. So I am currently working on all of those fun little clusters, popping some things up and keeping some things down. The clusters are not going to be super huge, um, just a super fun little layout, just super quick. I feel like with this busy backing paper with all the florals, there's not a lot I need to add to it. It already is cute as it is. I did get those little main character puffies because who doesn't love a little puffy and the chamel? Shimmel, Shimmel is super cute um, that I wanted to get a couple of those on. And this is my finished layout. I love the way it came together. I did add a few little splatters of gold and black as well. And I think this is super cute. Thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you all next time. Have a very happy, scrappy week. Bye everyone.